Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at the concept of the apparent power. What is that? Well, let's go back to the equation for the average power. The average power is equal to the VRMS times IRMS, the root mean square of voltage times the root mean square current, times the cosine of the phase angle between the voltage and the current. In other words, the average power can also be defined as one half the maximum voltage times the maximum current times the cosine of the phase angle. If we take a look over here, we have a simple circuit with a voltage supply, we have a capacitor, we have a resistor. Notice that in this particular circuit, this phaser here represents the voltage, this phaser here represents the current. Notice that this is the phase angle for the voltage, the phase angle for the current. Since the current leads the voltage, you can see that this would be a capacitive circuit. And notice that this is the phase angle between the current and the voltage. It's going to be a negative phase angle. But then you can see that if we then take the equation to describe the average power being equal to one half, the maximum voltage times the maximum current times the cosine of the phase angle between them, this portion of that equation, one half times the maximum voltage times the maximum current, is equal to what we call the parent power. So we can define the apparent power as the power that would be dissipated by the circuit if there was no phase angle. If there was zero phase angle, that would then be the total power dissipated, but the average power dissipated is going to be less because this term right here, the cosine of phi, the phase angle, and therefore this portion of the equation that never changes, this is always constant for a particular circuit, only the phase angle can change, this portion here is called the apparent power. In other words, the power dissipated when the phase angle is zero, when the phase angle of the voltage equals the phase angle of the current. And so we can then see that this portion right here is considered the, uh, what we call the apparent power, APP for apparent, and it's simply the RMS voltage times the, the RMS current or one half the maximum voltage times the maximum current. And the units for apparent power is not watts, it's volt amperes as we call it. And sometimes when you look at an appliance, you can look at the description of the specifics about the current, the voltage, and the hertz, and the frequency, and so forth. And whenever you see V times A, they simply mean one half the voltage times the current, the maximum voltage times the maximum current, and it does not consider the phase angle. So this simply is what they call the apparent power. Now we're going to take a look and see how we calculate the apparent power, and then later on we'll describe what, we, what this specific portion of the equation is equal to. I'll give you a hint, that's called the power factor, and we'll see later how the two then are added together to come up with the average power. But again, that's what we mean by the apparent power. 